Howdy, howdy. We're going to look at a geometric sequence tonight. It's the day or night of the 4th of February, 2016. So it's somewhat related to what we saw on arithmetic sequence, except these numbers are ordered by multiplying the previous number by a number to get the next number. So looking at 1, to clarify what I mean, 2, 4, 8, 16. So each number is multiplied by 2 to get the following number. That is an example of a geometric sequence. When we have the number, and we can recognize that it's 2 in this case, that is multiplied by each number to get the following, we call that the common ratio and the common difference is what we saw with arithmetic sequence but the common ratio is 2 and we use R for the symbol R is 2 let's look at another one see if you can tell me what is R or the common ratio we'll look at 12, 36, 108, 324 alright what did I multiply each number to get the next you only have to check if you're sure that it's geometric and this is all you have to do is pick any pair and find out what number did I multiply this by to get this the simpler case is usually the first two so what did I multiply 12 by to get 36? The common ratio is 3. And you'll see that that holds true as I go down the sequence. How about this one? 1, negative 1 third, positive 1 ninth, negative 1 27th, and positive 1 81st. Alright, when I look at that sequence, what do I multiply each by to get the next? You'll see alternating ser uh, signs, so therefore it must be a negative R in order to get that to happen. And it looks like I multiplied this by one-third to get that. And you'll see that this times one-third is that. This times negative, I'm sorry, negative one-third is that. So the common ratio can be fractional, it can be negative. Let's come up with a formula so that we can have uh, something to work with when we are asked to find various parts of a geometric sequence. So we'll devise that. Let's go general. So we have the first term is A1 and in the geometric sequence the second term is found by multiplying the first term by the common ratio. So here is our first term, here is our second. Our third will take the second term and multiply it by the common ratio again. So that's a sub 1 r squared. And the fourth will take this or this, they're the same, and multiply it by another r. So we get a r r r or a r cubed. If we take that out to the very nth term, what patterns do we see? There's an A in each one. And how many R's? Well, in the first one there was no R's. On the second there was one. On the third there was two. On the fourth there was three. So on the nth one, there's going to be one less than the number term. So it's to be to the N minus one. So we can put that together. The nth term of an arithmetic, se um, a geometric sequence is a r to the n minus one. So make sure that you have that. That's geometric sequence. The nth term of any geometric sequence is a times r to the n minus one. This little subscript tells you what term we're in. So like a to the sixth would be a, a sub 1 times r, common difference, to the 6 minus 1. This n and this n will take the same number. All right, so let us look at an example. I want you to find 
the fifth using the formula find the fifteenth term of this geometric sequence where the first term is twenty I'm sorry let's start with a different one I'm sorry we'll do that next let's look at finding the term fifth term we'll generate um, let's find the fifth term we'll do that find the fifth term of this geometric sequence and I don't want you to just generate it which you could with five terms it's not that difficult or time-consuming but let's just you get practice using the formula so a sub 1 the first term is given is 3 and the common ratio is 2 so I will use the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 r to the n minus 1 a sub n, I'm looking for the fifth term, so that's a sub 5 equals a sub 1 given as 3, the common ratio given, and remember n is 5, 5 minus 1. So what is 3 times 2 to the fourth? We have to do the exponent first, so 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, 3 sixteens give me 48. So 48 is the fifth term of the sequence, the geometric sequence. All right, now let's do the one I start, started before. I want you to find the 15th term. And we'll say a sub 1 equals 20. And the common ratio is 1.05. All right, see what we're going to do with that. See if you can work it ahead of me. I'll slow down. All right. I'm going to write down the formula and plug in the numbers where they go. So I'm looking for the 20th term. Then 20 is the first term, the common ratio is 1.05 and I'm raising that to the n minus 1 n is 20 so the 19th so when I put that in the calculator and plug it through I get 39.599 so alright believe it or not that's all I'm going to show you tonight we will be using these principles in our problems tomorrow. So hopefully that is something that you understand and will enjoy doing. So I will see you tomorrow for more on Geometric Sequence. Good night.